This is about survival! Survive! Hold together and when it charges, break for the wall. Gladiator 2 looks like a dupe of the original, but then is why the caravan is still causing frenzied excitement. The caravan release has inspired a huge response. Despite suggesting the Paul Mescal starring effect will copy the original, it's an ain't broke, do not fix it formula that could fly. The general who came a slave, the slave who came a prize fighter, the prize fighter who defied and conglomerate. From director Ridley Scott, you could run the voiceover for a caravan for the original prize fighter over the new caravan for its forthcoming effect, and it would still feel nicely accurate. The plot of the 2000 film boils down to Roman unjustly, brought low uses his prowess in the confrontational arena to effect vengeance on those who wronged him. And, so far as we can tell, it also applies to Gladiator, I do to be released in November. Yet despite the fact that the new film seems to be a retread of the first, its caravan was saluted with frenzied excitement when released on Tuesday. Innumerous suckers took to social media to declare, as the movie mem has it, this is cinema. This is really incompletely to do with the Oscar-winning brilliance of the original. Russell Crowe, in the title part, was no way better. The action scenes were grim, thrilling and visceral. The dialogue was eminently indelible. Indeed, people who may not particularly flash back the movie as a whole know are you not entertained? What we do in life echoes in eternity, and at my signal, unleash hell. Movie suckers can and will recite at the drop of a chapeau. The my name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the North Speech. A fogey to a different period, but there's further to the expectation for the effect there's nostalgia for a whole different style of movie making. As we move once cinema's superhero acromatism, Gladiator Eye is a message to an earlier style of blockbuster. The formerly huge brand and sandal kidney arguably peaked the first time around with Spartacus in 1960, but there seems to be a real appetite for it again. A major 10-part series called Those About to Die set in ancient Rome and starring Anthony Hopkins and Iwan Rian, is released on Peacock coming week. And Denzel Washington, one of the stars of Gladiator I.I., is also set to star in an Antoine Fuqua-directed movie for Netflix about Hannibal, the Carthaginian who challenged Rome. The release of Gladiator in 2000 was a watershed moment in ultra-modern culture for interest in ancient Rome. Dr. David Butterfield, Dr. David Butterfield, editor of the classics website Antigune, tells the BBC whether or not Gladiator I.I. does duplication the plot of the original. Gladiator, the excitement about a effect, speaks volumes about how drawn ultra-modern cult are to immersing themselves in such a fascinating and influential civilization whose striking parallels to and start. Differences from our own period proved to be inversely instructional. The release of Gladiator in 2000 was a watershed moment in ultra-modern culture for interest in ancient Rome. Not only did it bring to life the megacity which forged the conglomerate that shaped so much of Western history, but it also greeted into the mainstream long-forgotten subjects similar as the complex relationship between Homeric power and the mass crowd and the principles of Stoic gospel. Famously, Scott's primary concern isn't literal delicacy. When analyst Dan Snow listed some inaccuracies in his last film, Napoleon, Scott suggested that he should get a life. He told the Times, when I've issues with chroniclers, I ask, excuse me, copulate, were you there? Still, Butterfield points out that two of the further astounding images in the new caravan, the flooding of the Colosseum to recreate an ocean battle, and the preface of a rhinoceros into a confrontational fight, are actually historically accurate. Although some academics will feel a spring in their step from pointing out occasional inaccuracies or anachronisms in workshop of fabrication similar as this, 
The reality budges, long corn pieces, of art similar as Gladiator, I most likely to be the first preface into the ancient world for a public whose literal education is sorrowfully underserved in seminaries, he says. Meanwhile, author Robert Hutton, film critic for the critic magazine and presenter of a film, Podcast says of the forthcoming film, my immediate instinct is that it's part of Hollywood's preoccupation with being intellectual property. This will be easier to vend because people liked the last bone. Indeed, though, that was what 25 times a gone.